To protect his village, a failed teenager will have to flee from a gang of wolves and fight in an arena against a giant bear, proving his special abilities. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Rock Dog, from 2016. During the winter, on an isolated mountain in Tibet, a population of sheep live happily, despite the recurrent attacks of bloody wolves. In the middle of the night, when these creatures appear to terrorize the villagers, Kampa, the protector of those lands, appears and uses his deadly paw to send Linux and his gang away. For generations, Mastiff dogs have honored their duty to protect their village. So Kampa trains his son, Bodhi, to carry on his legacy when he grows up. The problem is that the puppy can't concentrate on his lessons and just wants to have fun with the sheep. Because of this, Kampa forbids all music in the snowy mountains, on the pretext that it's just a distraction. Then years passed and the wolves were never seen again in the village. Now, Bodhi is a young dog who leads a peaceful life together with the other villagers. Every morning, he accompanies the sheep to the watchtower, where Kampa and the other dogs position themselves to ensure the safety of the population. The only detail is that those mastiffs aren't real dogs, but costumes that the sheep wear to scare off predators. In an attempt to keep the wolves at bay, these animals split up into groups to wear the costumes in different shifts. In this way, they manage to convince their enemies that there is an army watching over the village and make the predators give up invading. While the soldiers watch the mountain, Kampa helps his son train his death paw, but Bodhi proves to be a great failure in battle. His terrible performance ends up causing an accident and causing the head of one of the fake dogs to fly away. Afraid that his disguise will be discovered, Kampa orders the dog to fetch the costume, but the object is stolen by a flock of birds. While trying to retrieve it, Bodhi spots an aircraft which, while trying to avoid the birds, ends up dropping some boxes. At that moment, the young dog finds a radio set and is able to listen to various songs on it. Suddenly, all the passion for music that Bodhi had repressed to please his father comes to the surface and he can no longer ignore his feelings. One day, he hears an interview with a rock star called Angus Scattergood and becomes a big fan of his. Inspired by the songs of his new idol, Bodhi breaks into the warehouse where Kampa hid the village's musical instruments and repairs an old guitar so that he can compose his own songs. A few days later, the dog plucks up the courage to break the difficult news to his father and tells him that he has decided to become a musician. However, Kampa does not accept this decision and says that Bodhi will be a guard dog, just like his ancestors. Determined to follow his dream, the dog continues rehearsing his music and infects everyone with the beautiful melody he produces with his guitar. Furious, Kampa vents to his hairdresser about the new direction his son is taking and Floyd gives him an idea to turn Bodhi back into a guard dog. That night, he asks the dog to keep watch and dresses up as a wolf to scare him. Three other sheep are forced to join the dog on this mission and sneak up on Bodhi. However, when the group jumps on the dog, Kampa realizes that his son has put one of the costumes in his place and goes after him. When he finds him, he realizes that the dog is in hiding rehearsing his music and manages to surprise him. Terrified, Bodhi flees from the fearsome predator and runs through the village warning everyone that wolves are on the loose in the town. At this point, the villagers become desperate and chaos ensues. While trying to eliminate the invaders, Bodhi ends up starting a fire that produces a fireworks display throughout the village. The next day, Kampa goes to drown his sorrows in a bar and Fleet approaches him to have a chat. The animal says that Bodhi will never be like his father, because he is trying to follow his own path. Meanwhile, the dog walks to the storeroom and puts his guitar away with the other instruments. After all the harm he has caused the village, he decides to give up music once and for all. However, when he approaches his father to say that he is ready to become a guard dog, Kampa hands him a bus ticket and asks his son to go to the city. So Bodhi finally gets the chance to follow his big dream, but if he fails he'll have to go back to the village and never be able to talk about music again. Early the next morning, the dog says goodbye to all his friends and Fleet returns the guitar to him. After picking up his instrument, he walks to the bus stop and ends up being spotted by one of Linu's henchmen. After spotting Bodhi, Riff calls his boss and tells him that Kampa's son is leaving. The wolf then orders his henchmen to go after the dog and take him to his hideout. A few hours later, Bodhi arrives in town and sets off in search of the rock and roll park. Meanwhile, Riff and Skaz hatch a plan to capture him. The pair intend to use a piece of equipment to capture the dog, but end up getting in the way during the task and Bodhi doesn't even realize he's in danger. Impressed by the grandeur of the place, he walks through the crowd and crosses the city until he finds a park where countless bands come together to play. There are different types of music here, and the audience is divided up to listen to each one according to their personal taste. Just then, a group made up of a fox and a goat catches Bodhi's eye, as they are the only ones who don't have an audience. Then Trey appears and the young dog asks to join the band. However, to be accepted, he needs to pass a test and Trey invites him to a duel. 
Initially, Bodhi performs well, but when he tries to imitate the tiger's movements, his guitar ends up flying far away and he becomes a laughing stock in the audience. After being dismissed from the band, the dog goes to collect his instrument and Dharma and Gurma approach him to console him. Trey then appears and reveals to Bodhi that Angus lives in that town. After being told how to get to the house of his greatest idol, the dog decides to try his luck and goes to meet him. However, the next morning, when he arrives at the site, Bodhi approaches the gate and receives an electric shock that flings his body away. Meanwhile, Angus is inside the mansion on a call with his agent. Ian says that if the singer doesn't deliver a new production in three days, his contract will be terminated and he will become a bankrupt musician. Desperate, the feline tries to create something new to save his career and, meanwhile, Bodhi manages to get through the gates. After falling on the lawn, the dog is chased by a giant rat and has to flee. When he reaches the front door, his presence is detected and he is captured. After a few minutes of rehearsal, Angus listens to the song he has produced and comes to the conclusion that it won't be enough to guarantee his success. Furious, the rock star destroys the tape and suddenly he hears his doorbell ring. Looking through the camera, he spots Bodhi and decides to let him go. He then asks the dog to wipe his feet on the carpet before entering, but as he does so, the dog is thrown out of the gates and is soon surprised by a storm. While he waits for the rain to pass, Bodhi hides inside a garbage can, but the garbage truck appears a few minutes later and throws him into the skip. Watching him being led away, Angus is relieved to know that he has managed to get rid of yet another nutter who tried to contact him. At that moment, Riff and Skaz call their boss to inform him that the dog has escaped, but Linux doesn't give up on his plan and says that his henchmen will only be able to return home after finding him. The next day, when he wakes up, Angus has a new melody in mind and rushes to his studio to record it. Suddenly, he hears a song coming from the garden and tries to ignore it. However, the noise is too loud and he can't concentrate on anything else. So the cat has to go out to check what's going on and finds Bodhi once again at his gate. Having never seen the musician before, the dog doesn't recognize him and Angus introduces himself as the mansion's gardener. After ordering Bodhi to stop making that noise, the feline returns home, but the gates close and, this time, it is he who ends up being electrocuted. After suffering an accident, Angus is left lying on the pavement and is recognized by a group of tourists who come to visit his mansion. At that moment, the musician begins to be chased and has to run out of town. As the feline runs through the streets, Bodhi approaches him and tries to convince him to become his music teacher. After refusing the dog's request, Angus hides inside a dumpster and is accompanied by the dog, who keeps his eyes open to let the fans know when he's leaving. As he is far from home, the musician needs to take a cab back to his mansion, so Bodhi decides to go to the park and play to get the money he needs to pay for transportation. Just then, he is spotted by the wolves and the pair begin to devise a plan to capture him. A few minutes passed and the dog got nothing but a few pennies, so Angus decided to pick up his guitar and start playing. While the greatest rock legend is playing in the middle of the park, Bodhi meets Dharma and Germer and shares the news with them. The fox doesn't seem to believe he's met Angus, so Bodhi says he'll introduce him. Suddenly, a giant vacuum cleaner appears and the feline is sucked in. When the youngsters get closer, they realize there's no one there and Bodhi can't understand what's happened. By now, Angus has been taken to Linu's lair and it's only when his boss opens the vacuum cleaner to capture Kampa's son that Riff and Skaz realize what a mistake they've made. Immediately, the wolves hit the feline on the head and Linux orders his henchmen to take him back home. Meanwhile, in the snowy mountains, Kampa loses control when he tries to run everything by himself. More than ever, he realizes how important Bodhi is to keeping things in order in the village and regrets the fact that he has left. After dropping Angus off at the door of his mansion, the wolves discuss a new plan to capture their target and, during the fight, end up overturning the car. Luckily, they manage to get out of the accident unharmed and continue arguing while trapped inside the vehicle. Meanwhile, Angus is at home and receives another call from his manager who says he has until the next day to deliver the new song. At that moment, Bodhi appears singing at the gate once again and the feline decides to ask for his help to compose a song, as he realizes that the dog has a talent for music. After entering the mansion, the dog meets Ozzy, a robot helper, and then Angus shows him every corner of his beautiful home, including a room full of guitars. Upon entering, the star presents his favorite instrument and asks Bodhi to choose one of the guitars from his collection to give as a gift. In the end, however, he changes his mind and decides to give him an old guitar so that Bodhi can start studying. In the very first lesson, Angus asks the dog if he has ever written a song because, according to him, every good musician needs to know how to compose. So that afternoon, the two spend most of their time creating a new song and trying out different compositions until they arrive at the final result. 
When this happens, while Bodhi is playing the chords, a sound explosion is caused and its impact is so great that it throws Ozzy out of the mansion. Now that he's got what he wants, Angus says goodbye to the young dog and walks him to the door. Before leaving, Bodhi asks when he should be back for his second lesson and the feline says he'll be in touch soon, as his schedule is full for the next few days. So the dog says he'll be in the park waiting for him and leaves proud of himself, knowing he's done an excellent job. After leaving the mansion, the dog rushes to tell the other musicians he met in the park all about his experiences and finds out from them that Angus will be presenting a new song to the public the following day. So when he realizes that the feline wants to steal his work without even giving him credit for the music he composed, Bodhi is extremely disappointed and once again becomes the laughing stock of his colleagues. Seeing the dejected dog, Dharma invites him to dinner, but Bodhi is too sad to feel hungry. Before leaving, Germer says that he believes everything he has said, but not even these words can cheer him up. Despite being a heartless egotist, Angus feels guilty for taking all the credit for the dog's work, so he decides to go after him. That evening, Bodhi is sitting on a bench in the park when he notices several vehicles approaching and has to run away to avoid being run over. However, during his escape, he ends up being surrounded and the wolves attack him with tranquilizer dart machine guns. Immediately, the dog ducks and the whole gang is hit during the exchange of fire. When everyone is passed out, Bodhi takes the opportunity to escape, but is hit by a shot fired by Riff. The wolf then contacts his boss to inform him of the success of the mission, but collapses when he is accidentally hit by a dart fired by Skaws. That night, Bodhi is taken to Linu's hideout and, while being interrogated by him, ends up telling him about his father's fake army, as he is still under the influence of the tranquilizer. After discovering Kampa's secret, the wolf orders his henchmen to pack their bags for a trip to the snowy mountains. Meanwhile, Dharma and Germer look for their friend to bring him dinner and the goat notices the tire marks on the asphalt. They then spot Bodhi's guitar and the fox soon realizes that he has been captured. Suddenly, Angus appears with his private bus and, on seeing the symbol drawn on the dart, realizes that the dog has been taken by Linu's gang. So the musician decides to go after him and invites the two young animals to accompany him. At this point, Dharma and Germer are still shocked to be talking to a big rock star in person, but they still agree to go and rescue their friend. At that very moment, Bodhi is in a fighting ring and will have to duel Grizz, the biggest challenger in that clandestine arena. After taking the first blow, the dog spots Linux and uses the bear's own strength to defeat him. He then runs out of the ring and goes after the wolves, as he knows they are on their way to his house and will devour all the sheep in his village. While running through the streets, the dog is found by Angus and his friends, who give him a lift. Together, they make their way to Nevada Mountain, but Linux manages to get there first and immobilizes Kampa. One of the sheep is coming out of hiding when it notices the invasion and runs to warn the villagers. Immediately, everyone runs to a shelter and fleet orders them to lock the doors. Soon after, the wolves appear and easily manage to open them. The first sheep were about to go up in smoke when Bodhi appeared with his guitar and ordered the predators to release all the inhabitants of the village. At this point, Linux sends his henchmen to capture the young dog, but he manages to escape and is pursued. In an attempt to help his friend, Germer ends up giving away his location to the enemy soldiers and Kampa takes advantage of the distraction to go after his son. The dog is being hunted and climbs onto the roofs of houses to try and dodge the attacks of his enemies. He then uses all his speed and agility to lose them, but ends up dangling over the edge of a cliff. When the wolves approach Bodhi, Kampa appears and intends to use his death paw to get rid of the predators. However, his archenemy sneaks up behind him and attacks him. Now that he's surrounded, the dog decides to use his final card and starts playing the guitar. Quickly, the strings emit a strong light and everyone is paralyzed by the beautiful song. Suddenly, the melody hurls the wolves away and the louder Bodhi plays, the more powerful his attack becomes. Then the sheep in his village also begin to float and join the wolves, creating a beautiful harmony between the two species. The only one who isn't satisfied with this outcome is Linux, who tries to strike the young musician at the first opportunity, but is knocked out by Kampa's deadly paw. When everyone is safe, the dog runs to hug his son and reveals that he was moved by his music. For the first time, Bodhi feels that he has been a source of pride for his father and hugs him, relieved. After all they've been through together, Bodhi, Dharma and Germer decide to get together to form a band and perform on stage alongside Angus. Thanks to the dog song, wolves and sheep have made up and now share the same space to watch the show, which includes a special appearance by Fleet and other residents of Nevada Mountain. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.